So this is Radha Damoda temple. This is the day, temple that Prabhupada stayed in before he came to the West. And this temple, Rupa Goswami, whose samadhi is in the back, appeared to Srila Prabhupada and told him to come to the West. And this is where he began his translation work of Shema Bhagavatam. So it's a very, very important temple. And all Gaudiya Vaishnavas should visit this temple. So here we are inside the temple room. And just over there, that's this Prabhupada's room. Where this little brown door is on the right. Prabhupada stayed there. And you can see on the wall this one time. Sri AC Bhaktivedan Swami Prabhupada's Shrima Bhagavatam translation room. So this is where Prabhupada began to translate Shima Bhagavatam in this temple. Very, very important temple. So we can see here, this is Shiva Prabhupada's Bhajan Kutiya. This is Prabhupada's original room. We have his Murti nicely in here. This is where Prabhupada began his translation of Shima Bhagavatam. Hare Krishna. Very, very simple. Humble beginnings. Prabhupada's bed. Pictures of Prabhupada at the temple. Prabhupada prepared his food. There's his room over there. And this place is ecstatic. The atmosphere in here is like so powerful. Prabhupada used to sit in here, he used to cook here. And he would take his meals, as you can see in this picture. He would sit here and he would take his meals and look out through this window at Shula Rupa Goswami's Samadhi, which is right there. And Srila Rupa Goswami came in a dream, instructed Srila Prabhupada to translate and go to the West, which in the English language, which was also the order of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Maharaj. So this is where it all began. Jai Prabhupada. Mr. Body is doing nice seva, maintaining the temple. Thank you, Prabhu. What's your name? Viswakarama. Viswakarama. Hare. Thank you very much. Hare. Hare Krishna. Jai Prabhupada's kitchen, Ki Jai. <laughs> 